Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's still me. I'm wearing my sunglasses because I got my eyes redilated today because uh, I needed to get my prescription changed because I haven't gotten an appointment in a really long time. For those of you who don't know what it is, it, they put like chemical eye drop things in your eye and it makes your pupil really big. It takes up like your whole eye and it makes it so they can like look into it, I think. Um, but it makes you really light sensitive. So for a few hours after you have to wear sunglasses, um, so what I thought I would do is do a what's in my bag thing because um, I'm going on vacation tomorrow. I'm going out for two weeks to um, a like beach place uh, where I go every summer with my family and we go for two weeks and so I am going to do a what's in my bag for my like carry on thing like we're not flying there but it's like the bag that isn't my suitcase with all my clothes in it because I can never remember what to bring. Um, when I go on vacations in this bag. So I thought I would do a video um, to see if I could help you guys out to remember some important stuff. So let's get right into it. All right, so first things first, this is the bag I have. It's my school backpack that I'm bringing. This is the Refugio 28 liter. Like it has a ton of space, but it is not too small. It doesn't look huge on your back. I have a bandana on it. I'm not affiliated with the gang. Um, I just have it because it looks cool and like everyone in my school has the same backpack, not necessarily in this color, but it's nice to tell it apart just in case. And also literally bandanas can be so useful, you never know when, where, and why you might need one. Um, so that's good to have. And then a carabiner, good to hang stuff. I have some pins on it that I kind of collect. I have my wallet, a deck of cards, and then a black pen and a pencil. So I will start with like the flat things because I like to put those in first and then I can pile stuff around them you can't really put them in at the end. So the first thing I'm bringing is my computer. I have the MacBook, like the one that came out new with like a few years ago. And then I have a um, encased neoprene sleeve for it and it has like this magnet closure which is really nice. Um, you just slide it in and it stays closed. So first I'm going to stick that in the computer pocket and then I'm going to go on to like books and stuff. So my first thing is the big official ACT prep book. Um, I'm at the time in my life where I need to be doing a lot of work in this. It's sad that I have to do it on vacation but I need to get it done somehow and it's a pain but I have to do it so bring this and it's a huge book but it's not super heavy. And then I also have a, a few like other little booklets that are ACT practice and like as if I'm gonna do all of this. Um, I'm just bringing it because I don't really know what I'm gonna work on. Then I have my two summer reading books, The Great Gatsby and Between the World and Me. So both of these I need to get done while I'm there. Hopefully like sitting at the beach I can get a lot of work done on these. So I'll just put them in here and then I just pack them like all on top of each other. Um, like that, they fit nicely, going from big to small. Oh God. Then I have my journal. It's like sometimes if I have a list of stuff I need to do or like things like that, I don't really ever write like a journal entry. This is uh, made by Shinola, um, which is really cool. Uh, and it has my monogram on it. And then I have my calculator when I'm doing like ACT practice stuff for the math, you're allowed to use a calculator if I need this. I have the TI-84 Plus, so I just put that next to it, I kind of moved it around. So that's it for like the really flat stuff that I just stack in there. Um, so my next thing is my string bag, and this is what I use as my beach bag, like when we go to the beach, I just take it and put it on, um, and I took everything out of this, uh, so then I can just roll it up and put it in my backpack. And then, like, when I actually get there, I can fill it with some of the other stuff that you'll see. Next, I have my water bottle. I just want to put this in before I, like, pack it with a ton of stuff and won't be able to slide it in here. I have the Hydro Flash 32 ounce. Alright, so next I have, like, these things. Um, I have sunscreen and bug spray. Uh, this is the Neutrogena Beach Defense Water and Sun Protection SPF 70. And then I have a stick. This is also Neutrogena. Um, and it's, Neutrogena is kind of expensive, but I like it especially for the stick because 
it's so easy to just put the stick on your face. Most of like the stick sunscreens are so oily and disgusting, but this one isn't really. And then I have a bug spray thing. Um, this is just like a tiny little thing just in case like I'm going with my fam and so I'll obviously be bringing like a big thing for us all to share. But I think it's just good to have this in my backpack when I'm going somewhere there will be a lot of bugs in the summertime. Um, this is the Repel Insect Repellent Sportsman Max, 40% uh, D. I forget if D is like low-key bad for you or something, but it's the only thing that actually works in bug spray, so sorry. Next I have a tripod thing. This is like a little phone tripod. Yeah, so you just like bend it around anything and it stays there. You know, a lot of times you can take cool like time-lapse videos of like the sunset. I like to bring it on vacation to do cool things like that. Um, cause you never know when you can get a cool vid or picture. Also this and self timer, name a more iconic duo. Then I have my glasses and sunglasses. As I said in the last video, I have a Warby Parker Percy in tortoise shell. I, since I was saying I got my prescription updated, I might use that as an opportunity to get a new pair just for fun cause I've had these for a while. But I don't know, let me know what type or shape or style of glasses you think I should get if you get, if I get a new pair. Yeah, next day I have Ray-Bans. Um, I just got these this summer. They're new and I've never had like a nice pair of sunglasses. I've always had just like cheap ones. So I saved up and I bought these for myself. So I have these, I'm gonna pack them once I can take these off and see light again. And then my glasses, I'm gonna pack, I might wear these, but I don't know. Alright, now moving on to electronics. The first thing I'm going to bring is my speaker. Um, I have the UE Roll 2, I believe. It's like the M&M shaped one. It has this cool gray pattern on it. And it's Bluetooth that has a spongy so you can attach it to like anything. It has a really awesome battery life and it's not as expensive as the other ones they carry which are really expensive. This is great. Then I have my headphones, this are the Soul S-O-L, I've had them like actually five ever. Uh, these are the ones that like, in like, I think like the 2012 Olympics, like Michael Phelps always wore these and had like a different color band for every race. And it's like, I have the red band and like these, you can slide them off and it's like the idea behind them is like you collect a bunch of bands and you like put on the headphones. Um, but they're really good, good quality. I've just like had them forever. I see no need to get a new pair. They've lasted so long. They're really good. I'd recommend them because like Beats, I don't know. They're a lot cheaper than Beats and Beats like have so much hype that they like suck and break after like two minutes. Um, they come with this little bag. It's like made out of like raincoat and it looks like it has a waterproof zipper, but then it's like fuzzy on the inside. So it's good for them. This is already so freaking heavy. Oh my God. Then I have my camera bag, Avi, because I'm going to film some sick vids when I'm there. Here, zipper pocket, and I'll put the charger and that little battery pack thing in here. Um, so for the rest of my electronics, I have this little pouch. It is to me, but I got it for free. So I may have just lost all of, like, everything, because um, my camera just randomly turned off putting my cords in, I'm just bringing chargers for all my electronics, like adapter for my computer and stuff um, to put in other cords, put in the charger for my speaker, and I'm going to put it in my backpack. So I think that's everything. So I'm going to zip it up and I might rearrange some things because like right now I don't have much in this front pocket and the main pocket is pretty full. So I. I am going to put my electronics case in the front pocket because sometimes you want easy access to get your headphones, whatever. And then I leave this phone pocket empty because you never know if you're like walking, you want to place, don't want to have your phone in your pocket. It's nice and easy to just have that to zip it up in. So I think I'm all set. So now I have it on. Yes, it's very heavy, but I don't think that necessarily means that I chose bad things to pack. Like this isn't really normal, like this is the only vacation or one of maybe like three vacations where I'm gonna pack a like 2,000 page ACT review book. It's also I'm bringing my computer and yeah but for fun I thought I would go weigh my backpack and see how much it is so you guys can 
come along with me. Alright, the scale is on. It is 14.9 pounds. That's not even a lot, but it feels like it's more um, when you are carrying it on your back. Also, my water bottle like has a bunch of water in it. Since we aren't taking a plane there, I'm not like carrying it the whole time. Like, you know. So here is my backpack on me. My Wattbot inside. So now I'm already, I also am in the midst of packing my like suitcase of clothing. Uh, let me know if you want me to do a what's in my bag for that. Um, but let me know quickly because I'm leaving tomorrow. Um, and I would need to film it quickly before my mom gets home and judges me. Yeah, next time I see you, if not, will be when I am on vacay living summertime. So like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at e.e.f. .e Bye.